Hey guys, it is me, Life Smart, and welcome back to The Sims 4 Get to Work LP. This is actually the first part since Luxury Party stuff came out, and I told you guys in my Luxury Party video that I wanted to throw a party because of all that really cool freaking new stuff, and I'm like, literally, I think I pooped myself when I saw all of that. I was like, yeah, this is happening. Um, If you haven't checked out my Luxury Party video, highly recommend you go do so because I'm giving away two copies of Luxury Party. And the giveaway ends in a few days, so you should go check that out, guys. Anyways, in this part, I want to throw a party, but I also want to go to work with Levi because I want him to get a good promotion. Um, he actually needs to go in and treat three patients while Bellatrix has already had her eight breakthroughs. I really want, I really want to go into work with her too. And Brody has interrogated a suspect and he's on his way to a promotion as well. So I need to go in with Levi and get that a going for him. But before the boys go to school, let me just go ahead and put them in a disguise. Or not alter your disguise. I'm sorry. Don't, don't, don't go into create a sim. Okay. He's going to disguise himself. <laughs> Galaxy hasn't even woken up. Literally me. Literally me. He's going to go ahead and disguise himself. And then go get some breakfast. Um, so I've spent like, I'm gonna tell you guys straight up. Uh, I was supposed to get this up way earlier today, but I have spent the past five hours, five hours, guys, stalking Zach Efron. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I love me some Zach Efron. He is just, oh, oh delectable. Um, really quickly, though, I'm going to turn the volume down because, once again, it's just so loud for me. Probably not for you guys. I got new headphones. I really need to, like, take these off <laughs> go back to my old ones. But, um, all right. So we're going to be going to school and work and all of that in one hour. And I really want to... Oh, she needs to take care of all of this. Um, Bellatrix is still asleep, isn't she? Yep, she's still down here asleep. But, um... I really want to plant some platanos, <laughs> some plantain trees. Um, I love plant plantains. I don't really say plantains. I say platanos, but they're so yummy. And I, I mean, I love them. So I kind of want to, I, I kind of want to grow them. <laughs> it's in the banana family. Everybody goes cuckoo bananas for bananas. Not really, but what am I even talking about? I'm just talking till, oh my gosh, she's in like a perfect mood legit perfect wow oh my gosh look at me being a simmer actually taking care of my sims for once oh look they're like having a walk together hi buds just kidding he's like psych psych but um yeah we go to work in like a second so do 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 nope send cosmo to school alone send galaxy to school alone and yes we're going to join levi in his work shift I seeds by clicking on the plant box. Blah, 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 blah. We already know this. But I'm, I'm also drinking juicy juice right now because you guys care so much. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to drink my juicy juice and then go brush my teeth with Little Bear toothpaste. Um, okay, so here we are at the hospital. Oh, cool. Bills have just been delivered to your mailbox. You owe 832 simoleons. Okay, more than we have right now. Cool. Cool. Good stuff. All right, so we can scan a patient in the x-ray machine. Shut up, shut up. I am so excited to do that. We can swab a patient for a sample and deliver food and all of that. Okay, so I guess we need to kind of like discover what's wrong with all of these people. And who's all here? We have Dina. Do, do, do. Why isn't her name? Oh, Jalissa. Jalissa. Alexander Goth, who's, not a teen, who's now a teenager. And uh, he looks a lot like his father to me and then here we have harmony okay well because dina caliente is so squatch and freaking hot duh her last name's caliente we're gonna come over here and oh has she already been examined oh, never mind <laughs> never mind harmony sweet sweet harmony um oh refer for an x-ray scan yep that's what we're gonna do because i'm so excited to x-ray a sim I've had x-rays done quite a few times because I'm notorious for breaking bones. <laughs> um, I haven't broken a bone in years, but 
for a good two to three years, I broke like my arms twice, both of my arms, guys. Yes. And um, I mean, I was in a cast legit for like a year, a whole year, probably. Yeah, like a year. It was crazy stupid. But I'm crazy stupid. And I broke my arm from falling into a hole doing a cartwheel. The more you know. Oh, my gosh. She's like, I hate, I hate this. I hate this. But I'm loving it. I'm living for this right now. She's checking her tummy out. Aw, she's looking like she's hating it. It's not all that bad. Her scrubs are so dull. I wish we could customize their Johnnies, because, or, well, that's a Johnny, not a scrub. But I, I think the shoes are quite fabulous, if I do say so myself. Flats on fleek. But other than that, it's quite, like, her Johnny's not cute at all. I wish I could spruce her set up. What was that? <laughs> My voice. But, um, okay, Levi has performed a do 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 do, um, a practice examination on a patient the test results seem valid but the da, da, da. yeah it's a bit over his head we're good for nothing apparently but um <laughs> dina what can you please mr wesley oh yeah wesley he's a nurse well we're a medical assistant we um is a nurse higher or lower than that i don't know but if it's higher we're working our way up if it's lower well, at least he knows his place, right? But um, he needs to go treat everybody. What we're going to go ahead and do now... I keep cracking my voice. <clears throat> we're going to swab Harmony for a sample. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wesley, so inappropriate talking about woohoo with the patients. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and take her swab. And we are now going to analyze it in a disgusting, disgusting machine. Now we're going to, because Journey is using that one, I guess. We're going to go clean it really quickly and do the sample. Um, yeah. Use some Lysol. <laughs> Bellatrix is off to work. Journey, real question, to be honest. It seems like all she ever does is come in here and like, do stuff like this. Do you ever talk to the patients? Do you ever have meetings? Like, what's up? But yeah, we're going to go ahead and analyze Harmony's bio sample. Blissfully clean. Meat sims are the happiest while cleaning. Well, isn't he just happy? I'm actually, I'm not going to lie. I freaking love a clean environment. But, um... I'm, I'm more of an organizer than a cleaner. There we go. Levi was confused by the questionable data results and needs to run further examinations on Harmony Nolan for a clear diagnosis. Okay, so we're gonna head over to Harmony once again. She's like my patient today. I'm so happy just to touch her and it sounded horrible, but we're gonna go check her eyes. And because I want all these freaking people to leave, because there's a little kid waiting. Oh, Jesus. Oh, look, look. Nina's here, too. So her sister needs to GTFO and let her sister get some examinations going. But yeah, we're going to come over here and look into Harmony's eyes. Actually. Okay, we did that. Um, I'll also go ahead and check her ears really quickly. Did I just check her eyes again? No. Okay. Check her ears and then deliver some food to her so she can eat up. She's probably hungry. She's been here for a while. Okay, since Wesley is a good-for-nothing mofo, we're going to go ahead and just get everybody out of here. So we can get some more patients in. See, this Johnny is pretty cute, if I do say so myself. I do love floral print, as most of you guys know. Um, so that one's cute. That one's cute. But this one, it's just like, what is this? What is this? Ugh. What about this one? No. This one? Oh, nobody's in there. <laughs> I was going to be like, no! Alright, give her her medicine. Goodbye, goodbye. Alexander Goth, what's wrong with you? I swear the Goths are here a lot. Oh, okay, let's see. He, starry eye. Okay. I definitely want to learn a little bit more about the, um... 
Okay, we're about to treat our third patient. So that will, there we go. That's locked out now. Um, so now we are enabled to get that promotion. But we're going to come over here and scan her body really quickly. Oh, like, who did it for him? You freaking, now Journey or Wesley does something. Are you serious? And this is why I don't like coworkers. But, um, okay, I suppose so. I suppose so. I'm, I am disgusted. But we are going to come over here. And uh, boast about our family. It says chat with the patient. I'm not sure if that means we can just talk about anything or if we need to discuss her general health or something. Okay, cool. So we can just talk about anything. Um, now, because you were treated, you're no longer my problem. Oh my gosh. Don Lothario's here. Well, how you doing, boo? How you doing? All right, so I am going to... I mean, is there different... My thing is, he doesn't look like he has a sickness, but neither do those two sims. So I can refer them immediately for an x-ray scan. So it's kind of like, do I just take them to the x-ray? Or I guess I'll admit them to beds really quickly. Um, I really want to admit Don Lothario. I don't know why. Um... But I'm going to get some Sims in here. I just really want to admit him because he's like never in here. And we see like a lot of kids and the Calientes are in here a lot too. But it seems like I don't get any any um, Dons in here. So uh, you could say I'm pretty excited to have him. Oh, and he puts on a little floral Johnny. Well, how cute. Okay, he's insane. But how cute is he? Oh, boo, with them slippers work. <laughs> Don is me. But yeah, we're going to admit these patients really quickly. And then I'm going to get to work. <laughs> Never gets old. Just kidding. It really does. But I'll continue to say it. All right. Then we're going to refer this chiquita to a bed as well. It seems like she has an itch. Um, so maybe she needs some calamine lotion for that or something. But yeah, Harmony, you can leave. Wesley, you can go ahead and take care of that since apparently you like to take care of everything. All right, cool. Oh, and her hair is so cute. I love that hair so freaking much. I will never get over it. I want a little girl, but um, I have a full household. Well, I have six Sims, and it's hard enough taking care of them, so it's going to have to wait a good minute. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and bring her in here. Oh, rubber duckies. I like that one. Okay, we're going to start off with John. <laughs> do not let, do not let Nina Caliente see you wearing the same freaking johnny as her because that'd be real awkward um but we're gonna come over here and scan don's body i mean who wouldn't want to right <laughs> i'm kidding <laughs> i'm totally kidding i'm totally kidding or am i okay we're also going to swab his mouth check his eyes or not his ears we're gonna check his eyes can i refer him for an x-ray scan i guess no no not yet I really want to, if you can't tell. Oh, and we're going to transfer our case. Oh, our workday is almost over, too. So, um, here. Here's some food. Eat up, big boy. Uh, Journey. I'm going to transfer my patient case. Okay. Wow, we smell like poop. Probably should have taken care of that, but oh well. Um, oh, and we can go take a patient's temperature. So I'm actually going to come take this little girl's temperature really quickly before our workday is over. Um, actually, it looks like she has a fever. Maybe? I'm assuming. All right. Apparently, we don't know how to read a thermometer. <laughs> But our workday is almost over. I honestly don't think... Yeah, I know, I know. We smell like ass. I get it. Honestly, don't think we're going to have time to um, do a, a x-ray. So I'm just going to go have him wash his hands so people stop acting like we're, we're disgusting. They still will. But we can at least make ourselves feel a little bit better. Okay? Yay! Levi did a good job today. He can turn... He can turn this clinic into the beacon of the community. Okay. 
Feeling sick? Recover faster by drinking tea and orange juice. Oh, I really want a tea maker. I miss it. I do. So we're going to have to go ahead and do that. All right, now. Anytime. Here we are. Can barely pay our bills, but we're going to have to. <laughs> oh, and look, here's the boys. Totally not in the outfits I put them in, but okay. Let me go ahead and... Um, um, ask about school to Galaxy, which they're best friends. Poor Cosmo is just like, whatever, haters. <laughs> All right. And we're going to brighten his day a little bit. And, um, joke about old times. He's like five years old. What are you talking about? All right, Cosmo's hungry. Jade, what are you up to, Chiquita? She's in a really good mood. And how many rose perfumes did we have? I think Bellatrix has them all, actually. But she's going to go ahead and sell this painting. That's a confident painting. I should really hang it up. But um, I'm going to sell it. Yeah, I don't know if I'd want that in my house, to be honest. Okay. And she is going to... I really like the classic paintings, but I need to branch out from doing them. I'll do a... Mm, impressionism painting. She's going to do a medium since we kind of need all the money we can get right now. Birdie is now home from work as well. And I told you guys I want to throw a little shingding at the house. Um, maybe not a party. Maybe like just like a little dinner party. I know there is like the dinner. Oh, that looks really cute. There's like the Ginny, Ginny, <laughs> the Ginny party, the dinner party aspect. And I would love for Levi to invite over, um, where is he in here? What's his freaking name again? <laughs> Awkward moment one. Um, Samir, who's now apparently a elder. <laughs> okay, then maybe I'll have to age him back down. But I'd love for Samir to come over. Katrina's now an elder too, freaking old hag. Um, I'd love for Brody to invite over Rochelle and... Um, yeah, I'd like for that to go down. So maybe it can be like a double date. That'd be kind of fun. Just like a little double date dinner. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Who's a good cook? Nobody. <laughs> so that moment when nobody's a good freaking baker or he's a good baker, but he's not a good cooker. So it's like, do we really want to have freaking whole wheat loaf bread for dinner? No, not really. Um, I guess we're going to have something totally not amazingly amazing for dinner. Or I could do a buffet, but it's so expensive. Okay, we're going to head into here. I probably cannot get the buffet table. It's just too much. I really wish I could, but it's just so expensive. Um, I would freaking love oh, we can totally do this we can totally do this it can be a treat for the boys it just isn't logical <laughs> to do this but i really just want to um and i'll put it away we can use it for like special occasions and stuff like that so yeah oh and he's feeling happy because it's family time family oriented sims love being friends with family members okay so considering I need to cook a freaking meal. I should probably move this. I don't think you can put it on tables. No. Okay, well, I'm going to sell it for now. I know I just lost simoleons. Don't remind me. And we're going to really quickly cook a meal. We are going to make... I mean, fish tacos sounds pretty freaking amazing. So we're going to go do that really quickly. And we're going to make a family size... So the kids can eat too. Oh, and Rochelle just showed up. Didn't even invite her over. What, what is up, girl? She knew. She knew. So yeah, I'm going to have Brody come up here and invite her in. That's um, quite the fashion statement. Okay. Let's go ahead and turn the music off for now. Shall we? All right, so Brody's coming out here, and here's Rochelle. Looking beautiful as always. Okay, cool. Uh, Rochelle, where, where do you think you're going? You're staying right next to me. We're going to give her a heartfelt compliment. Just let her know that. Where is all my postcards going? I definitely had more than one. Oh. <laughs> all right, we're going to offer her a rose. Get off my computer. Get, get, get off my computer. Is he cooking? 
Dude, what the hell? Why are you why are you cooking in the bathroom? That is disgusting. Make your tacos up here. What a weirdo. Alright, so these two are just going to chat it up, complain about bills. Oh, stop being a creep, Cosmo. But yeah, we're going to ask her to move in. Yeah, right. We're going to have a deep conversation. And we're coming pretty good friends with her, which is good. Brody has yet to woohoo. And I know he wants to. So, um, yeah, we're just going to. Oh, she's lazy. Perfect. Oh, Bellatrix is home. We're going to get to know them. And, um, okay. So I've been doing some thinking. Oh, she looks horrifying <laughs> never realized how scary bellatrix and mad bellatrix looks don't get me wrong love me some bellatrix love me some bulldogs too and she reminds me of a bulldog but uh that's none of my business so there is an alien world if you guys haven't heard of it um it's called six am i'm pretty sure that's how they pronounced it um i've known about this world for like ages uh if you guys don't know a while back i actually went and uh I took some really cool screenshots of it. Oh, um, but I can't speak a really long time ago. Well, not that long ago. The game has been out that long, but I took it when I was previewing the game. And let me tell you, I pooped myself when I saw it. It is so gorgeous and so amazing. And I think how we're going to wait a while to go see it. Maybe like it'll be a gift to like Galaxy and Cosmo and everything because, you know, they're aliens who never saw, I guess, their planets. Um, we'll, we'll say Bellatrix definitely knows um, a thing or two and has definitely been there. Um, but the boys haven't, you know. This is, they think this is normal, being little creatures. <laughs> they think it's normal and it's totally, I'm sorry, I love you guys, but it's not, it's not. You guys are um, aliens um, and uh, we're in SimWorld, so... Uh, <laughs> Same boys, love you though, love you. So I think it would be kind of cool to say like, like the plot would be, oh, the boys for their, when they become a young adults or something, they can go travel and meet some of like their fellow cousins and people like them and maybe get like lovers from the alien world. I think that'd be kind of cool. Oh no, is, is Jade sick? I think Jade is sick. Um, oh, and okay, Rochelle's also a slob. <laughs> Good to know. So, Rochelle, if you could get off the computer so I can order some medicine, because apparently she's not feeling that good. Oh, we don't even need it. Okay. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and take uh, one thing of medicine. You can purchase medicine from the computer. So, hopefully, this will help her. It says she doesn't need it, but she doesn't look all that good, so I'm just going to have her drink that. And I do like the sparkles. I think that was a nice effect. All right, cool. Jade has taken medicine and has... Doo -doo -doo -doo. She has combated her cold. Cool. Um. Okay, so... Wow. I was going to have you invite Samir over, but never mind. He's just indulging. Um, I'm going to have the boys come grab a plate. Um, and... Brody... Where are you going? Yeah, she's sitting at the computer. Why don't you call her out there? Or call her to the meal, actually. Call to meal. Yeah. Hopefully Rochelle will come eat, because there's only 10 servings, and there's six people in this house that I'm sure will have seconds, gladly. So, cool. Rochelle's going to come eat. And let's see. The boys' galaxy needs to improve his his um his social skill and cosmo needs to improve his um mental skill so i'm gonna have them do that after after this okay bellatrix bellatrix what a little creep she's such a little creep okay so yeah um Cosmo is going to go experiment after dinner. Oh, they need to do their homework, too. But I'll have them wake up early in the morning for that, even though it's already kind of late. Um, okay, he's going to come over here with Blarfy and imagine an enchanted forest with him and joke about salmon and tell him a secret and all that good stuff. 
And here's this painting. It's actually quite creepy. And I want to sell it. I'm not going to lie. Oh, it's just a bad aftertaste. Oh, I'll well, get over it. All right. And I'm going to have Brody come in here after he's done with his fish tacos. And pull a few moves on Rochelle. Because he's pretty good friends with her. Can you hurry up and finish your food? All right, yeah. So he's pretty good friends with Rochelle, if I do say so myself. So um, we're going to try to ooh, snuggle with her. Do not. Do not. Do not ruin the moment. I know this is your bed, dude. But go downstairs and take care of your freaking self. Go use the toilet. Take a shower. Do what you got to do. Leave those two alone. Okay, he must have farted or something up here. He's okay. Yes, he must have farted. He's he's back. There. Oh, I really gotta go. Poo. I really gotta go. And then this happens. Wow, what a freaking mood ruiner. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna try to kiss her. Yes, I know Bellatrix. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she hug it out. Hug it out. <laughs> okay, well we're just gonna ask her to leave. It's late. We have work tomorrow. Do we have work tomorrow? No, we don't actually. Um, he could have went out tonight. But that's okay. Every this this house is so crazy. But, um, he's gonna go to sleep. I know this freaking sleeping arrangement is weird as friggin' everything, but um, we don't have smallions to be spending. To be honest, and I continue to do so. Like I wanted to get the little party buffet set up with the, you know, fountain of mirth, but it looks like I can't do that because I'm gonna go pay my bills instead. And um, yeah. So, unfortunately, I guess I will be responsible in that sense. All right, she paid the bills. Uh, we're going to have Bellatrix, who's asleep now. Oh, Bellatrix. Okay, Cosmo, go use the potty. You're done taking a shower. You're done for now. Go sleep. I'm going to throw that in there. That in there. Throw the fish tacos in the fridge. Okay, okay. We still need to repair this. Um, But we do have some rose perfumes that we can sell in the boutique or not the store it's, it's pretty much the same thing we can sell now which is pretty cool but i think in the next part we're gonna go to work with bellatrix um it's been a while so we're gonna go to work with bellatrix i would also like to go to, i think i'm gonna wait to go to school with the boys until they're in high school and it's gonna be very very rare that i go to school with them um there's a really awesome mod if you haven't checked that out i already made a video on it you should go check it out but yeah i'm going to wait until the boys are in high school because that's when i kind of want to focus on it a little bit more um you know because that would be kind of nice to build friendships with high school friends and stuff so i'm gonna do that but this one needs to go to bed like she has <laughs> she she doesn't have a job what am i talking about but oh she actually has a moodlet medicated the sudden lack of symptoms and potency of the medication has a has given Jade a brief burst of energy. That's actually very, very nice. Um, so she's going to paint a abstract painting and she'll make it a large one at that. She wants to own 15 pieces of art, which I wouldn't mind, but all of her art seems to look pretty freaking fugly. So, uh, I mean, there's that. <laughs> oh, I'm salty towards Jade. Well, aren't I? But, um, yeah, we're just going to paint a little something, something. Oh, this is actually, this is, this is very cute. Very cute. I'll hang this one up. We have her other really cute art up on the wall. That reminds me of Gigi on Broadway. Vanessa Hudgens stars in it. I, I really want to go see it. I really want to go see it. We're going to paint a large classic painting as well. And we're going to head to sleep after that. This looks quite scary. I've never seen this painting. I don't believe I have. Oh, no, I think I have. What is it is the real question. Oh, yeah, it's the gnome. I've definitely seen this one. Who hasn't? Okay, we'll hang this one up, too, for now, even though it doesn't really do this room any justice. She wants it just for the sake of having 15 pieces of art. Um, but yeah, she's going to go to sleep now, and um, I think we're also going to take that bad boy 
and to work with us. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to place that in our inventory. And I'd also love to do a photo shoot, like a family photo shoot of the boys. Um, now that they're children, they can actually do like a little photo shoot. I'll do that off camera, though. Um, get like, you know, really cute photos of all of them. But I'm going to go ahead and end this part here, guys. Don't forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to. Um, and yeah, I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys.